The struggle to hire people has been hard on businesses really throughout the year. The Colorado Restaurant Association's most recent impact survey shows that more than 25% of restaurants in the state were considering closing for good because of, among other things, severe labor shortages. Now, while people here in Erie will be remembering this tavern right behind us, the owner of Miner's Tavern says that along with its closure, he hopes a message is sent. What do you say about a place? Cheers! I'll put those mushrooms in for you guys. That holds so much history. Old building, you know, they're just, they're not around much anymore, so, you know, it's nice. It's nice while it lasts. And so many memories. 35 years stopping by. Two of them. It's a great place for people to just be. Co-owner Mark Rockwell says he recognizes its importance to Erie. Got it. There's a lot of old timers have been coming here from since longer than I've been born. But the nearly century old tavern, named after what the town's history is known for, will serve its last drink Saturday night. Yeah, it's a sad day, I think. The historic brick building meeting the same fate as other restaurants. The number one reason that we're closing is because we have a complete inability to hire and re retain staff. The problem has been going on for some time. Yes. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, by the end of June of this year, Colorado's restaurant industry was still down by nearly 11,000 workers from pre-pandemic levels. I'm incredibly sad, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's soul crushing to lay off the staff yet again. For its customers Saturday, they'll soak in the good times. You know, good food, can't go wrong with that. Important to keep things local. You know, and for those that work there, that you a message for the future in hopes of helping other restaurants. If it takes a little longer to get your burger, that's because we're short staffed and we're trying to do whatever we can to survive. And when you take those workers and you tax them, they quit. Now this week, the Colorado Restaurant Foundation began accepting applications for its Denver Back to Work grant program. Those grants are to be used for things like hiring bonuses and trying to help retain employees as well. As for the building behind us here, the Miners Tavern owner tells us that they plan to eventually build a mixed use building in its place, but that may not happen for another year at least. In Erie tonight, Luis DeLeon, 9 News.